This is an example of using linear equations with a formula to solve a problem. This particular problem involves simple interest, and that formula is I equals PRT. Okay, so what do I know? I know that Jared has two student loans, and it's a total of $12,000. So I've got my total up here, $12,000 and it looks like I have two loans, one loan at 5% and the other at eight. So I'm gonna sketch this out. I have a 5% loan and an 8% loan. All right, then we're leaving it there or it's we, we've been borrowing it for a year and at the end we're gonna have $750 in interest and our job is to determine how much was borrowed at each of those rates. Okay, so let me try this. Let's say we have the amount invested. That's what we're looking for for each of these, but we're only allowed one variable. So I'm gonna put X for the 5% loan. Then what am I gonna use for the 8% loan? Well, let me reason this out. If I know I borrowed $2,000 at 5%, that would mean 2,000 from the 12, 10,000 would have had to have been borrowed at 8%. If I borrowed $6,000 at 5%, that means 12 minus 6 is 6,000 borrowed at 8% as well. So in general, this is going to be however much my total is minus the part I've already borrowed. Okay, so that's the amount invested. But the other piece we have here is the interest. So I'm going to use a different color and come up with my interest. Okay, I'm going to use the formula principal, how much I'm borrowing, times my rate as a decimal, times the time, which we know is a year. Okay, so it's going to be x times 0 .055%, 5% times one. That's the interest that I'm paying on that loan. Over here, I'm gonna be taking the 12,000 minus x, times this rate is 8,000, I'm sorry, 8%, so 0 0.08, and it's also for a year. This is a total, so that means I'm going to add these and equal it to, what did it say? $750 in total interest. A little clean up here, so this first one simplifies very nicely to 0.05, oh, 0.05x, excuse me, plus, and then this is going to be 9600, you can check me with your calculator, minus 0 0.08x equals 750. In fact, I'm gonna double check myself because I don't trust myself here. Let's see, so seven, I'm sorry, 12,000 times 0 0.08, 960, good thing I checked, right? Okay, so, Let's fix that and correct it. There we go, 960. I thought that was too big of a number. Now, finishing this problem out, we're gonna have to do a little bit of algebra. So I'm gonna combine my like terms and I'm gonna have a negative 0.03x. I'm going to subtract the 960 from the other side. That would be negative 210. And then I'm going to need to divide. So I divide by negative 0 0.03 on both sides. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna double check my math again. So if I have 750 minus the 960, that does indeed leave me with negative 210. And then we divide that by negative 0 0.03 to get 7,000. So that means x x is equal to 7,000. Now what did we just find? This is where I go back and I look at up here where I have defined my variables. So this means that there is $7,000 borrowed. Where is it? It's in the 5% loan. And then how do I figure out how much at 8%? I've got my formula right here. 12,000 minus 7,000 would be 5,000 at the 8%. Let me know if you have questions.